Caroline, and this is... Science Saves the Day! Okay, who can I help today? I could use a rough, rough rescue. Hey, Marshall, what's the problem? I want to make Chicoletta a really special snack. She <gasps> loves popcorn, but can you help me make her a special kind of popcorn? You bet! I could save the day with science! Thanks, Caroline. Can I help? Of course you can help. And you can too. Let's go, go, go! Science is all about making smart guesses and trying new things. Like trying a new way to make popcorn. First, we ask a question. Like, what happens when we try to pop popcorn while it's still on the cob? Now, we make a smart guess about what the answer could be. That's called a prediction. Hmm, I don't think that corn will pop if it's still on the cob, Caroline. That's one prediction. My prediction is that the kernels will pop on the cob. What do you think will happen? I'm fired up to find out. We can find out by doing an experiment. Let's do it. We'll take this special dried corn on the cob and put it in these bags. Don't want any popcorn escaping. No way. Now my dad could help us with the microwave. Happy to help. Thanks, Dad. Safety alert. Kids should never touch microwaves. That's only for grown-ups. Yup. Ruff, ruff. Let's watch. Again! I think it's working! Wow! It's, it's ready. ready! It's gonna be really hot, so make sure a grown-up helps. Thanks, Dad. No problem. Are you ready to see what happens? Yeah! Ooh! Wow, it really worked! Whoa! It's popcorn on the cob. Caroline, your prediction was right. What about you? Did you predict this was going to happen? Interesting. Okay, here's what we learned. We can make popcorn on the cob. I hope snacking is part of science. <laughs> Chicoletta! We made you a special snack. Using science. <laughs> I think she likes it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Science Saves the Day. See you next time. Weather Guppy Goby here, coming to you with the Noggin Weather Report. We now take you live to Peppa Pig's house. Let's see what the weather is like there. Is it rainy or snowy? Right, it's rainy. Better grab your umbrella. But don't worry, we predict clear skies for the afternoon. Daddy, can we go out to play? Perfect weather to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> but don't forget your boots. Now let's check out Blaze's neck of the woods. Does it look like sunny skies or stormy showers? Right, sunny skies. Woohoo! A perfect day to play outside. This just in, we're getting a report from Adventure Bay. Let's take a look. Is it sunny or snowy? Right, it's snowy. Snowy! Whee! If you're visiting the Paw Patrol, you better bundle up. It's a perfect day for sledding. Or bowling. Are you okay? I'm better than okay. Now over to Gil, reporting live from... <laughs> Gil? I'm okay. Well, that's the Noggin Weather Report. Did you know that the ocean is home to lots of plants? In fact, there are more plants in the ocean than out here on land. Since plants make oxygen, a plant like seaweed, which grows in the ocean, is really important. Here, check this out. This is seaweed. Now, if I were an ocean animal, I might either want to stay safe in the seaweed or have it as a snack. And ocean animals aren't the only ones who like to eat seaweed as a snack. We eat it in our sushi. Check that out. That's the seaweed wrapped around the sushi, keeping everything all nice and tucked inside. And seaweed also makes up these delicious nori snacks. Have a bite of that. Mmm. Science sure is delicious. Hey, I just had an idea that we could add to our song. 
we could say this. And ocean plants make oxygen that we need to breathe at all. And then the dance, oh, it could be so fun. We can go, and ocean plants sway to the side, make oxygen, and then bring it in, that we need to breathe at all. Oh, this is looking great. Find more learning videos in Noggin, and ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Noggin YouTube channel for new videos every week.